Hello everyone, thank you for joining me. I'm Kerry from Kerry's Crochet. Today I'll be showing you how to crochet this rabbit. It's smaller than the appliques I've been doing lately. I'm going to make a yellow rabbit, so I've got a light and dark yellow. I've got pink for the nose and the tongue. I've got blue for the eyes. I'll also need black for the inner eyes and white for the muzzle and the tail. I've got my thread to stitch it together and my sewing needle. I've got a 1.25mm crochet hook, my darning needle to weave in my ends and scissors. I'm going to start with the head so using my light yellow I'll make a magic loop and work three chain and then 14 double crochet into my circle. I pull the circle tight and slip stitch in the third chain. For row two I work three chain and work one double crochet in the same place as the chain and then I work two double crochet into each stitch around. So I work this row and I'll meet you at the end. And we join with a slip stitch in the third chain. For row three we start with two chain and work a half double crochet in the same place as the chain and one half double crochet into each of the next two stitches. and two half double crochet into the following stitch. Now we work one double crochet into each of the next two stitches two treble into the following stitch one treble into the next stitch and then two treble into the following stitch. Now we work one double crochet into each of the next two stitches two half double crochet into the next stitch one half double crochet into each of the following two stitches then two half double crochet into the next stitch Now we work one double crochet into the next. Now two treble into each of the next two stitches.
and one double crochet into the following stitch. Now we're going to work two half double crochet into the next stitch and then one half double crochet into each of the following two stitches and we're going to repeat that until there are four stitches left. So two half double crochet into the next and then one half double crochet into each of the following two stitches and repeat that around till we've got four stitches left. So two half double crochet in one and one half double crochet in the next two. I've got four stitches left. I work one double crochet in the next stitch and then two treble into each of the next two stitches and one double crochet into the last stitch and then slip stitch into the second chain. Now I'm going to start on the inner ear. I slip stitch into the next three stitches. And then work 11 chain. I miss the first two chain and I work one half double crochet into each of the next two stitches now I work a joint half double crochet over the following two stitches A double crochet in the next stitch one treble into each of the next two stitches A double crochet in the next stitch and a half double crochet in the last stitch. And then slip stitch into the head and fasten off. And that's the first inner ear done. For the second inner ear, we find the middle stitch. That's the, tre the single treble right at the top. And then we miss four stitches and join in the fifth stitch down from the top. And the second inner ears work the same. We start with 11 chain. We miss the first two chain and work one half double crochet into each of the next two chain. We work a joined half double crochet over the following two
a double crochet into the next one treble into each of the next two stitches double crochet in the next and a half double crochet into the last stitch and slip stitch into the head and fasten off I'll just weave in my ends and I'll be back and we'll do round the ears for round the first ear, we join just at the bottom of the first ear in the same stitch that we started. I'm using a bright yellow and I work a slip stitch into each stitch up the side of the ear. Into the two stitches at the end of the year, I work two single crochet into each stitch. Now I work one half double crochet into each of the next two stitches. A join double crochet over the next two one treble in the following stitch a joined treble over the next two and one double crochet into each of the remaining stitches. And then slip stitch into the head and fasten off. For the second ear, we start two stitches back from the ear, and we work a joined treble into the first two stitches. A treble into each of the next two
the join double crochet over the following two stitches a half double crochet into each of the next three stitches two single crochet into each of the next two stitches and then a slip stitch into each stitch down to the head slip stitch into the head and fasten off and that's the head and ears done I'll start on the muzzle now using my white I make a magic loop and work three chain and three double crochet into my circle next I work six half double crochet four double crochet six half double crochet We pull the circle tight and slip stitch in the third chain. And fasten off. My fingers aren't working today, I'll have to pull that tighter with my matting. For the outer eye I'm using blue. I make a magic loop and work one chain and six single crochet into my circle. I pull the circle tight and join with a slip stitch in the chain and fasten off and I've got a small circle, I'll need two of those for the inner eye Using black, I make a magic loop 
and work one chain and two single crochet into my circle. I pull the circle tight and slip stitch into the chain. and fasten off. I'll also need two of those. It's a tiny little circle. For the nose, using a bright pink, I make a magic loop and work two chain and work a joined half double crochet into my circle. Pull the circle tight and fasten off. For the tongue it's worked the same as the nose. I work a magic loop and work two chain and work a joined half double crochet into my circle. Pull the circle tight and fasten off. I'll start on the body now. I start with a magic loop and three chain and I work 14 double crochet into my circle. I pull the circle tight and slip stitch in the third chain. For row 2 I start with 3 chain and work a double crochet in the same place as the chain and then I work 2 double crochet into each stitch around. So I'll continue round this row and I'll be back. At the end of the row we slip stitch into the third chain. For row 3 we start with 3 chain and work 1 double crochet in the same place as the chain. Then we work 1 double crochet into each of the next 2 stitches. and two double crochet into the following stitch. And we repeat that all the way around. So one double crochet into each of the next two stitches and two double crochet into the following stitch all the way around. So I'll work this row and I'll meet you at the end. At the end of the row we join with a slip stitch in the third chain. For row 4 we start with one chain and work one single crochet in the same place as the chain and one single crochet into each stitch around. So I'll work this row and I'll be back and we'll work the tail. At the end of the row I join with a slip stitch in the chain and fasten off.
for the tail. I turn it round and I start about opposite the join just so that it tucks under the head. I've got my white cotton and I join and work two chain and work a joined half double crochet in the same place as the chain and then I work two chain and slip stitch in that same stitch as the double crochets. I slip stitch in the next stitch and work two chain and then I'm going to slip stitch into the two chain near the top of the chain just like that and then work a chain and work a joined double crochet into the same place as my three chain on the body and then I work three chain slip stitch into the same stitch on the body and slip stitch into the next stitch then I work two chain and then I slip stitch again in there in the body and now I work a joined half double crochet. I work two chain and slip stitch into the body. And fasten off. And that's the body and tail done. I'm going to start on the feet now. With my main colour, I make a magic loop. And three chain. I work three double crochet into my circle. I work three chain slip stitch into the circle work one chain and work three single crochet into my circle I pull the circle tight and I slip stitch at the bottom of that first three chain For row two I work one chain and turn and I work one single crochet into each of the next three stitches. For row three I work one chain and turn. I work two single crochet into the first stitch and a join single crochet over the next two stitches. For row 4 I work 1 chain and turn, I work a joined single crochet over the first 2 stitches and 2 single crochet into the following stitch. And I work 1 chain and turn, I work 2 single crochet into the first stitch and a joined single crochet over the following 2 stitches. Then I work one chain and turn. I work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches and two single crochet into the last stitch. For row seven, I work one chain and turn. I work two single crochet into the first stitch and a joined single crochet 
over the next two stitches. And that's the arm. I'm going to do a neatening row of slip stitch. For this one I'll just work my slip stitch around this way. For the other arm I'll turn it over and work the slip stitch around and that way they'll point the opposite direction. I'm using slip stitch because I don't want it to be too thick. A single crochet would make it a bit thicker. For the pore part I'm going to bring my hook in a bit further just to make it bend in a little bit. So I'll just continue round and I'll be back. At the end of the row I slip stitch into the first stitch and fasten off. Now I'll just make another arm, making sure I turn it before I do my neatening row. I'll make another set of eyes, I'll weave in my ends and I'll pull all my circles as tight as I can and I'll be back and we'll put it together. Now here's all my pieces. The first things I'll do is embroider a little dot on the inner eye pieces and I'll attach the nose. The pointy part just goes down over the circle and then I'm going to attach the tongue, it just goes down below the nose in the centre there. So I'll attach those. Now I'll attach the inner eyes to the outer eyes just at the bottom and then I'll put the markings, black markings on the muzzle. So a line down from the nose and onto the tongue and these little spots. Now the next thing I do is attach the muzzle to the head just about at the top of that middle circle just in there. I've left my black on because I'm going to do the markings around the bottom of the muzzle once it's stitched on. Now the muzzle's on, I'll just stitch the tongue down and then I'll do the markings under the muzzle and around the tongue. I'll also stitch the eyes on, just up in there and I'll put eyelashes on. I will have my patterns on my website, the details on my website are in the description below and there'll be photos close up of the placement of everything. Now the rabbit's head is finished. Now I'll stitch the head to the body. The top of the head, the middle part, just goes around the circle. I won't be stitching the ears down, um, but it's up to you if you want to. The last thing I do is attach the front paws. Just in under there. And there's the finished rabbit. You could make them in many different colours. If you like my video, please like, subscribe and share. I'm also on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest and Twitter. The details are in the description below, along with the details of my website. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.